Oh law, oh law. Who back there? Who back there? What sound is coming out? Who back then? What is she saying? We don't know. All I know is, you guys, come along, cause we gonna go find something in our neighborhood that did not exist until recently, and it's just a walk away. What are we gonna find? Something really yummy. We're on a Sunday mission to find this dessert. We're in our apartment. They lit the fire. They lit the what? They lit the fire. Oh, the fire's going in the courtyard. Where are we headed? It's a pretty windy day in Deep Ellum, if you tell me. Oh, I might be blown away. Excuse me. Uh, uh, reporting at you live from Deep Ellum, Texas. Uh, we're on our way to find... Uh, what are we on our way to find? Find some dessert. Some dessert. Sweets on a Sunday. Let's be real. We haven't walked around our neighborhood that often because it's been freaking hot. It's been hot, but we're actually lost. No, we're I'm not. Where, we're, I'm lost. I don't know where I'm going. We are not lost. We're like, lost. when are you ever lost when you're walking around we're the lost. city? We're lost. We're never lost. Everybody knows it. We're never lost because the lost are found. We're lost. No, we're not. Oh, I know where we are. Follow it's me. also a 70, a 70 degree day. Like, could this make any better? Those are everywhere. Let's walk in there and actually live there. Well, it's not even open. Let's open it. <laughs> so if you know a little bit about Deep Ellum, if you don't, some of you may, but Deep Ellum is known for their wall art everywhere. So that's just a little glimpse of what you probably see if you come to Deep Ellum. And if you know anything else about Deep Ellum, you can also get electrocuted at any moment. Because we don't know what that is. <laughs> We're gonna keep moving. Oh crap! I'm trying to kill him! I can be the one recording. You should be recording this, not me. Uh, to the right is a very historic home that's been here, uh, looks like since 1898. Uh, oh. Safety first. Zane. What's with the looks, though? <laughs> He's like, Whoa. what? Oh, gosh, Poop. Frederick. You know something else about Deep Ellum? Okay. Poop all over. I promised him that this was not a long walk. Okay, there's some very fascinating homes we're finding. I feel like we're in a nature show and we're whispering. <laughs> Yeah. And cafe later to go with that. Who's excited? I am. Check out this thing right here. Take a look at that. Oh, yeah. Down. Who's excited? <laughs> it's not as nah. excited. 
excited. Yeah. It's gonna be so good. Oh, gotta go. Found this gym. Can't wait to test this out. Who, do, who doesn't like a burger? I love burgers. What people don't love? People don't love a million hours of B-roll. I love B-roll. <laughs> but this ain't B-roll. We're just walking, enjoying this beautiful weather. I'm excited for my beignet. I haven't had one of those since New Orleans. What's that place in New Orleans we, that everybody goes to? I went to that place. I've never been there with you. Sorry. I went there. My sister lived in New Orleans. That's what he was like, went there. She took us. I don't know what it's called, but if you Google New Orleans, run some issues here. Track. We're getting real hipster right now with our railroad picture. That one's hipster. Real hipster. No, that was you circa 2013. It don't matter. Do you get nervous on the camera? If I get nervous, yes. Who doesn't? That's where weird things are coming out of your mouth. Yes. And I'm walking backwards, being extra weird because I'm on camera. Jacqueline says I have fuzz. I don't see no fuzz. You talking about my goatee? My no, lack of you beard? You literally always have fuzz in your hair. Because I'm like a magnet. To fuzz? Yeah, fuzz just attracts like static energy. You know, it rubs on you, just sticks to you. That's what fuzz does to me. Like, I feel like I'm constantly like. <laughs> That's right. That's what love is called. That's love. love. You ain't gonna leave me hanging. Thanks for I'm not leaving me leave hanging. You, hanging. you know what? Other people wouldn't tell you. That's, you know what? You're a good friend. Because I got friends that probably wouldn't tell me that I got fuzz in my hair. Or I got green stuff in my teeth or a peppercorn in my, I would. In my tooth. You want to show? She tell me. I've now, told you a million times with the, your braces. The real question is what I tell her. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's a. So we got the. And we could have shared one of these. But why share when you can That's so have harsh. all that by yourself? Like, who's going to eat all me. that? And me. Christmas time is here. <laughs> Whoa. It's really jumping in here. But how, what do you think? I feel like yeah. You got like bin, bin powder all over your face, but it's awesome. Wow. Look at that. Take a look in there. Wow. Y'all, I've never had, the, had it in New Orleans, so I don't know what to compare it to. But this guy seemed like he was straight up from, from New Orleans. Oh. Okay. Patrick's okay. turn. Good, huh? Mm -hmm. It's good. Soft. It is soft. Right to perfection. Wow. Oh. <laughs> well, hello, Professor Fender. Well. What did you think? Now my throat good. is coated in sugar. Yeah, sugar's all over my body. All over your body? All over my body. <laughs> Why is it all over your body? Hey, oh. Anyway, the beignet was so good. It was good, it was fried to perfection. It had a good combination between the powdered sugar and the whole biscuit part of the thing. Yeah. I don't even know how to do a food vlog, but anyway, it tastes great. I would go back. Yeah, I would, I would go back. They have coffee, so they do serve specialty lattes and different, I don't know. They had a lot of different options. But it's literally a hole in the wall because there's no room to get it. Like, you have enough room to order. Literally, you gotta and enough room to get. You gotta squeeze in it or order, and you gotta just go back outside to get it. You gotta squeeze so, it back like it that. It is a hole in the wall, for sure. It's a hole in the wall. We'll be back. We'll be back. Love our little neighborhood spots and we'll take you guys around. Yeah, there's some other spots we need to do. little spots. For sure. In the deep of the hill. Filled with food. Filled with food like that a lot of trouble you gotta be on a budget. Our okay, guys. All right, thank you for watching. Thanks for watching as always and we shall see. Hit that subscribe button.
Ding! Oh my gosh. Ding! Hey, that's the wrong button. That's the wrong button. What's the difference between a beignet and a donut? Can somebody answer that? <laughs> like, I would really like to know. To me, it's kind of similar. Is it similar? Am I offending the people of the beignets? Yeah, it's different. Okay. This is more flaky. The beignet is more flaky. The, the, yeah, like it's different. I'm trying to figure out why it's It's different. also hollow because it's allowed to rot. Do you know that? I'm pretty sure I can Google it and then try this. How far? It's hollowed out on the inside. That's how you know. It must have a good... That allows the fluffiness and the flaky to take place. Have you made a menu? It's all about the yeast. The yeast bubbles. Okay. You don't know what you're talking about. Google it. I guarantee you. Don't say that. Um... Um, excuse you. Excuse you. Just doing your own thing, huh? Mom and Dad doing their thing, you're doing your thing. Okay. Who back there? Who back there? <laughs>